patient Tom. I've just been a little bit concerned about Tom today. He's just been making a few unusual comments and I've decided that it's time to reassess him for delirium. So I'm going to do that using the CAM ICU assessment method. So first of all, I've established that um, there is an acute change from Tom's normal mental status and I'm going to assess him for inattention. So, uh, good morning Tom, it's Jackie here again. I'm going to ask you some questions to see, assess your thinking this morning, okay? Is that alright? Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, we'll see how we go. So first of all, I'm just going to get you to hold my hand, and I'm going to be asking you to squeeze my hand when I mention a certain letter, but just let's have a wee practice first. Can you just squeeze my hand? Uh, Great, right. like that. And try once more. Squeeze again. Fantastic. Okay, so every time I mention the letter A, I want you to squeeze my hand. Okay, so here we go. Great, okay. Here we go. C, A, S, A, B, L, A, N, C, A. Okay, so Tom made about six errors then. He's squeezed my hand incorrectly on about six occasions. So I'm now going to move on to step three, which is where I consider Tom's race score. He's actually been calm to work today, um, so his race score is zero, and that means I need to move to step four of the CAM ICU assessment scale. So now we're going to assess for disorganised thinking. So Tom, I'm going to ask you a few questions now, all right? So they're just yes yeah. no questions, it's going to be four okay. questions. So we'll get started and see how you're going, all right? So here we go. Will a leaf float on water? No. Are there elephants in the sea? Yeah, yeah. Does one kilo weigh more than two? Uh, no. Can you use a hammer to cut wood? No. Okay, so Tom answered three of those questions incorrectly. Um, so he does um, have some disorganised thinking. I'm just going to do a second part to the assessment, and that's where I'm going to ask Tom to follow a couple of simple commands. So first of all, Tom, I'm going to hold up two fingers. Can you copy me and hold up two fingers with your left hand? And are you able to do that with the other hand as well? Okay. So Tom was uh, able to hold up his left hand correctly, but unable to do the same with his right hand. So I've um, established that Tom does have delirium. He is chemo positive. 